and I just wanted to show you guys how I removed my twist uh, faster way than maybe most people may do it. So for this, you have to be very careful. You have to know where your hair length is at, where your hair stops, basically, because if you don't, you will cut your normal hair and you don't want to do that. So I start out by just cutting the bottoms of my actual twist to the lowest point that I think that my hair wouldn't be at. I know my hair is not down there, so and I do that on both sides. Um, the reason why I have to do this is because she did put like some type of glue on the bottom to just seal the twist in. So I wouldn't have been able to unravel them any other way. A little bit of a backstory on these. Um, these are Senegalese twists. I got the hair off of Amazon. Um, I do have some more hair left if you guys are interested. I might put so it yeah, on. So yeah, I didn't have any problem with this hair at all. It was very lightweight, even though it was a lot of twists in my hair and they were very long. Um, super lightweight, way light, way more lightweight than my um, crochets. So yeah, I start out by, um, you can either cut the bottoms or you can start unraveling it from the middle. That's the easiest and fastest way I found. This took me about an hour and I have to take out my whole head. Um, so I would suggest you watching a YouTube video or some TV. I was actually watching Love After Lockup. Comment down below if you watched that or Life After Lockup. That's my show right there on Fridays. So yeah, I was pretty into that. At one point I did get tired. So definitely try not to give up because you have to finish it if you don't have any help. And it's free for you to do it yourself. So just take your time and just take them out. Don't tangle your hair because sometimes this method can cause tangles. But just be careful with it. And just take your time as you combing it out and going through. And one main tip I would give um, for you would be to make sure that you comb out just the root area. Because that's where the buildup is going to be at. And then when you wash your hair, it's very, very hard to get it out. I got lazy towards the top and I realized that when I washed my hair and conditioned it i had such a hard time and it just pulls more hair out so just do it as you go along don't get lazy you can even even use a comb with like littler teeth than what i used and yeah it'll be easier you can do the comb through method if you want just like that to start it but i feel like the unraveling from the middle is way easier and way faster than combing out each obviously you have box break you have to do it that way because you just can't unravel it but if you have twists it's going to be way easier and way faster so I had these twists in my head for a month and about four days. So yeah, definitely ready for them to come out. My real hair started peeking through the twist and it just wasn't looking good no more. At this point, the next day after I filmed this, I got my hair done with the sunburn hair that you've seen in my last video. So I will be making a video on that on my one week review. So check that out when I post that. So yeah, just continue doing what i'm doing i'm gonna let you watch the rest of the video and i'll come back if i have to say anything else to you guys all right thanks for watching bye
this right here is the aftermath thanks so much for watching guys leave any comments or questions down below see you next time bye